Did you ever play the original Gauntlet? It came out in like 85 or something like that on, on the big things. You'd play it. I loved the game. Loved it so much. Played it on the on the PC later on. A new one just came out. What was I saying? This one is called the 343 Gauntlet. Unfortunately, there is not a lot to it. Uh, the only description is three libero, two Vol uh, Sugano Volantes in midfield, and that's it. Uh, there's no descript no other description, no comments, no videos, no images. That is it. So we're going to take a look with our three teams and how it does with Liverpool, Aston Villa, and our championship side of Ipswich Town. Tactic will be at the end of the video like usual, but let's get to the Premier League. Well, I mean, starting off right off the bat, Liverpool in first place, you get champions out of England, 83.74 goals. We have definitely seen tactics that have increased these numbers, but in this save, at least, first place is pretty nice. Aston Villa in sixth, eh, we've seen better, but 72 points is pretty nice there too. 78 goals, not too bad. Tied for first, so overall, I guess we're off to a good start. But now, one trophy for Liverpool in the bag. Can we get a second? Yes, we can. Over their bitter rivals, Manchester United, in the Carabao Cup. You can see they beat Ipswich Town getting to that final. But you get another trophy. Unfortunately, the FA Cup fifth round is where you lose out to Bolton. You get yourself to a European final, but Lazio knock you out. Well, I mean, they, they win the final, I guess. And Europa League final. Nil-nil on penalties. Two trophies is not too bad, but still sent off in the 90 plus five and you still couldn't get it. That's too bad. So overall first place, you can't beat that. I mean, the only way you could do better is if you actually got a few more points in there. 84 is what we generally see. 84, 85 is kind of the average for Liverpool and that's in second place, but we've seen them at 98 or thereabouts. We've seen them in the upper nineties at least. Uh, so 83 is kind of the low mark. So it was a downturn for the Premier League this season, but Runners up in the Europa League, not bad. Uh, Carabao Cup, you do get another trophy. FA Cup, fifth round, pretty bad, but still not too bad of a season overall. Squad-wise, let's hope it shows. Goals, 23 for Salah is actually, I mean, it's actually not bad for Salah, but Nunez with only 17, that's pretty low. Uh, Assist-wise, 17 for Robertson. Simikas comes in with 16, that's pretty nice. How do you play the two together? But uh, 15 appearances, 16 assists, really nice. And then Simikas with a 7-2-3. Yeah, I think Robertson might be time to sell him off and kind of bring Simikas up. But overall, still, the stats are pretty nice to a degree. Unfortunately, Aston Villa cannot show any success in the domestic cups. They do get to the semifinals of the Carabao Cup, but unfortunately, Manchester United dropped them out pretty much. FA Cup fourth round out against Coventry. I mean, what is with the FA Cup this season? But after an almost perfect run, they do not escape the season without a trophy. Club Bruges drop drastically. 6-2 in the Europa Conference League final, and you get that trophy. Competition-wise, overall in the Premier League, sixth place, not the greatest of marks, but 72 points is not bad at all. Uh, we've definitely seen them better. We've seen them with a lot worse, though. Conference League winners, fantastic job right there. FA Cup fourth round, not so much. Out in the semis of the Carabao Cup, they're not that too bad there, but overall, it was okay. Squad-wise, you are seeing a lot of green for them, which is nice. 31 goals for Ollie Watkins. Diaby with 16 assists. 23 for Lucas Digne. 18 for Matty Cash. And then average rating, you get Lucas Digne above Coutinho with a 7.38. Liverpool's data hub, not quite attacking-minded as we've definitely seen. I mean, sometimes we see through the roof numbers. This time it's gone on the average mark, I guess. The, you know, well above Premier League average, of course, but not quite as high as we're expecting. And if we look at Aston Villa... Pretty much the same, just, just slightly off numbers, I guess. So, Premier League stats, how does that translate into this? Well, most goals, Aston Villa with 78, tied for Newcastle. Man City getting one down, and then Liverpool with 74 in fourth place. Few shots against Liverpool in third, 275, Aston Villa's in sixth. Most possession, Liverpool and Aston Villa at 58 and 56% apiece, not too bad. Most dribbles made, Aston Villa with 719, Liverpool in fifth with 686. Tackles one never there. Liverpool with best pass completion, 91%. A fantastic job there. Aston Villa at only one down with 90. Very well done. Most shots for, of course, Liverpool in fourth. 509, we've definitely seen higher. Aston Villa in seventh with 484. Well, how does it do for our championship side of Ipswich Town? Promoted. Fifth place. Okay, fifth place is not bad. 91 points is pretty nice. You can probably get up there a little higher. But overall, 97 goals, not bad. And if we take a look at the playoff final, winning over Norwich 4-3 to three in the final, well done there. 
And as we've seen in the domestic cups, they get to the Carabao semis, unfortunately dropping both to Liverpool, but FA Cup fourth round replay against Wickham 1-2, eh, eh, whatever. So competition overall, championship, not too bad. You get promoted, still fifth place. I mean, we've seen higher numbers, higher table spots, but you're gotten promoted. That's all that matters. FA Cup fourth round and then semis in the Carabao Cup is not bad. So squad wise, we actually do have a couple of greens there. Uh, goals wise, 17 for Marcus Harness, Chaplin with 13, Hurst all the way down with nine, did not play much at all. Assist wise, 24 for Leaf Davis, a fantastic Mark Westburns with 15. And then average rating, well, Luria was 762. He was brought in in the winter, but 735 for our normal Leaf Davis. Championship stats, they are definitely all over this. Most goals in second with 108. Very well done. Only one less than Southampton. That does include the playoffs, though, so keep that in mind. Few shots against fourth uh, for Ipswich in 377. Most possession in six with 56% on the average mark. Second in most dribbles made, 936. Dang. Most tackles won. Never there. Best pass completion all the way in first with 91%. Most shots for in fifth. So the tactic itself, we start out with a sweeper keeper in defend, liberos on all sides, one in support in the central spots, complete wingbacks on the left and the right in support, Suga de Volantes in the middle, we do have some individual player instructions for almost everyone so far, shadow strikers above them, and then a target forward in attack up front, positive mentality, in possession, attacking with is fairly wide, play out of defense, passing directness is much shorter, tempo is higher, mixed crosses and run at defense, in transition, counter press, counter, distribute to the center backs and roll it out. And then out of possession, a mid block line of engagement, a standard defensive line, trigger press more often, preferential goalkeeper distribution. So how did it do for our three teams? I have to say it was kind of a weird season for both. Ipswich Town coming in fifth, but 91 points is a pretty good mark. You get promoted, a nice job by them, no question about it. Everyone else, they're just kind of excelling. But if we look at Liverpool and Aston Villa, of course, Liverpool in first place with 83 points is a low mark for first place, but still they get it in this save at least. Your save could drastically differ, no question about it. You could get 98 points, you could get second in the league with that, who knows. But Aston Villa in six, 72 points is not a bad season with that point tally. It just, these were weird seasons for these two leagues. But that is it for me, Safian FM for the Football Manager Blog channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.